That's let's eat, and guess what? That's about the extent of my French. Well, yeah, I wish I remembered more of mine because I'm feeling very intimidated by the group that's around us. Uh -huh. These students are participating in French immersion, and Carol Oquan was actually very instrumental in bringing this to the state. Good morning. To, uh, bon matin. Et bon matin à toi. Uh, et bienvenue uh, Channel 2 uh, ici okay. à Napoleonville. Welcome, Channel 2 to Napoleonville. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Madame Campbell, I do remember something. Carol, tell us a little bit about what makes French immersion different from then just simply taking French. Yes, this, this program is designed to start French at a very young age. It's in the content areas of science, social studies, math, music arts and crafts, and the French language for 30 minutes. We have a block of language arts, therefore, in kindergarten, you begin with the French program, and we have what's called the DRIP program, so that along the way, if you choose to go into this um, more intensified French program, um, you can join along the group. So you're starting with primary students, un plus un equals deux. <laughs> That's franglais. Uh, uh, égal deux. Égal. <laughs> oui, oui, absolutely. Uh, the younger they are, the more uh, fluent they become, the more comfortable they become the language and actually articulate much better and um, begin to have a, a cognitive connection with that language earlier. That's our problem. We didn't start young enough. <laughs> well, and now it's too old to change, I guess. <laughs> I'll just have to get an interpreter for us to, to come along. What's that? Egal, equal. Egal, Okay. Well, I'll try to remember that. Uh, Cecile Aurelian also is... Uh, uh, one of the uh, instructors here, and I understand you just took a trip, uh, took a whole group to Paris? Yes, another instructor and I, Mrs. G. Madea, took 21 students, some of whom... 21? 21 students. Hey, yay, yay, boy, you had a trip, didn't you? Yes, we stayed with families there. Uh, hey, what are y'all laughing about? Y'all did Are y'all hard to corral or something in Paris? Yeah, we heard about that. The police uh, called us. Oh, okay, yes. what? Uh, we took, uh, they stayed with families. Uh, they were hosted by some students who had come here last year that we hosted in the area. And we returned the trip to Orléans, France, to Lycée Potier, which is our twin high school, and uh, okay. stayed with families there and did trips to Paris and uh, chateaus in the area. That is fantastic. Now, one thing I've always wanted to know is, is how do you teach French inside the French culture here, the French Cajun French? How different is that? Because the kids are brought up hearing something else. Is it, is it really very different? I think a lot of people have the mistaken idea that the, the French we have here in this area is not true French, but it really is. And I think it's now, an French, now it's it? an older, antiquated French, but uh, considering my mother has no trouble communicating with all the people who have visited in this area, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very understandable French. And I, I try to uh, make the students aware that the French their parents and grandparents speak here yeah. is French and it's accepted as a dialect of French. All right, well, there you go. Penny, where are you? Come back up here. Now, this Penny girl's been saying, come can, on I, TV. can I talk, can I talk? <laughs> here you go. So how did you like Paris? It was all right. It was, it was all right? You it went to Paris, fun. it was all right? It was fun. It was très bien. Oui. Oui, oui magnifique, <laughs> yes, that's really good. I can't believe it. It was all right. We just went to Paris. That's okay. Great for a side trip in an afternoon. Well, well okay. Carol, I have a question for you, though. Do you encourage them to speak it at home as well? Because a lot of parents who don't know it, um, I, I, I got to think it's, it's kind of hard to get them in the swing of things. That's the beauty of it. Like in the uh, Pierre Port community, what has happened, it has revitalized the French, and now we see very young children be able to communicate with their grandparents, whereas their parents cannot. So that has been really nice to be able to um, have lunch and communicate in French, be able to have um, visits among, and, and that nurturing has taken place. Um, for those children who cannot have parents who speak the French like in the Bell Rose community and that we went into the African-American community in Bell Rose where I'm principal now we have again a cultural glitch there because the Africa is 75 percent French and again it's a cultural glitch and environmentally uh, bringing in our friends from Africa and bringing in our mm. friends from Canada Belgium and France who teaches these are our teachers that's where they come from they're not uh, not very many Cajuns become French teachers. That's what we're hoping these children become teachers of French. Well, they're going to sing a song. Are you going to sing a song or y'all do, do, we'll do the pledge? <laughs> they're going to do a pledge. You do the pledge? The pledge. Okay, okay the we'll, pledge. The pledge. All right, here we go. The pledge. Uh, the <laughs> 
This is Taj Me, Lady Ayala Zon, Nation, Zipate, and Zipate, and Zipate, and Zipate, Salut! Yes. Uh, what they said. Okay. Uh, au revoir. Au uh revoir. -huh. Okay. Well, there we you go. We got that West Monroe French thing going. Yeah, it is. It's uh, <laughs> Parlez Vue Francais. That's it. Turn it to continue right after ce moment. Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Right after this. Oh, maman. Oh, maman. Who's maman? <laughs> <laughs>